subscribe now. EU debates. Le fitto per le cere. Grazie Presidente. Thank you very much President. President von der Leyen. On behalf of the ECR group I would also like to wish a warm welcome and offer my full support to Mrs. Zelenska. At this moment in time, it's important that we send out a clear message from this plenary for support to Ukraine. Your State of the Union address this year is probably the most difficult one that you have made in recent years. The context is very complex, not only because of what's happening in the present days, but because we have a difficult period behind us, first the pandemic and then the outbreak of war. So I think it's important that in these circumstances we need to clearly condemn the actions of Russia and the behaviour of Russia. We have full support and solidarity in facts and in words with Ukraine in our everyday actions on behalf of the government and the European institutions. It's very important to work hard right now because the issue of uh, Europe's defence and foreign affairs policy has to be transformed, particularly with the transatlantic alliance, where we need to bolster the uh, relationship with Europe's countries. We now need to provide full support to the difficult path that we have taken on sanctions. Only sanctions can bring results and at the same time, we need to look at our daily lives. We need to act with unity and in a timely manner. Mrs. von der Leyen, we need genuine unity and not just a facade of unity. We need to intervene to support households and companies. That's essential in taking on the crisis we have before us. We need clear answers. A pr gas price cap is one of those clear answers. And uncoupling the gas uh, uh, price from the energy price in general. I'll give you a, a clear example, a specific example, of the kind of speculation we face and the need to intervene. Over the last few days, on the 9th of September, we saw a Council of European Energy Ministers who sent out a positive and clear signal. But immediately after, on the 12th of September, the gas price went below 200 euros. On the 26th of August, it was over 330 euros. But now gas prices are increasing again. Because the message that the markets are getting from the EU is not strong enough. We need a strong answer now. Member states need to be conscious of the difficulties that we have ahead of us. So we need to act in a timely manner. All of the planning, the cohesion planning for the 2022 to 2027 period, the uh, recovery plan, a lot of this will depend on uh, what happens now because the, the planning was done before the uh, outbreak of war. We need to work with conviction towards ensuring we have genuine uni unity within the EU. I've listened carefully to declarations from other colleagues around the uh, plenary, the presidents of the other groups. I understand there's a need for political polemics to go on because of national elections that are upcoming in many countries, but that's not the path we should be following. I'd like to thank the uh, support that we've had for Ukrainian refugees. The two uh, ladies who are with us today have set an excellent example. But you have to remember that there are countries like Poland who have opened their arms wide. They have shown exceptional uh, efforts in terms of welcoming refugees escaping from Ukraine. We need to be conscious that unity... It cannot be achieved by seeking conflicts. It has to be true and substantial. The rule of law is important, but we cannot allow the debate on rule of law to be contaminated by ideological issues. That brings nothing positive. Colleagues, over the coming months, 
We will be working on a lot of issues together in our common interest. We don't need this kind of political polemics. It shows immaturity and a sense of irresponsibility. We want a serious Europe that is capable of working together with national governments. That is the path we should be following. In this context, I hope that we can find a good, balanced approach. Democracy isn't just for when it suits you. It doesn't, it's not just for when uh, people vote the way you want them to vote. Whether we lose or whether you win an election, you have to, represent, you have to respect the citizens' mandate to its politicians. That's the only way we can have a serious, incredible Europe that can take on the challenges of the future. Thank you. Grazie, onorevole Fitto.